What's going on guys? In this video, I want to go over a specific clip that I found. Uh, I watched this interview about a year ago uh, or whenever it came out by uh, Patrick Bet David to Kobe Bryant. Uh, Kobe Bryant, who recently just passed away, was a big inspiration for me. I was an athlete for a lot of my life, uh, but he really did become an inspiration when I ran it, went into a business for myself. Uh, that's when it you know really kind of took over that mentality of what he had the mama mentality uh, i read the book relentless by tim grover if you haven't read the book relentless please do uh, whether you're in business for yourself you're an athlete doesn't matter uh, this book is 10 out of 10 i would highly recommend it uh, but i really watched this interview and this specific clip really stuck out to me um I really listened to it. I probably rewinded it like four or five times and heard it over and over and over again just to kind of hear exactly what he was saying uh, because obviously you say something and there's a lot more deeper meaning. Uh, and it really intrigued me. This one clip really stood out to me. Like I said, uh, well, just take a look and I'll, I'll talk about it after. How did you get your mindset into this alter ego to be comfortable being Black Mamba, like how, how did that happen? It's a good separation for me, you know, emotionally, to be able to put myself in a place where at practice or when I'm training or during games, I switch my mind to something else. I switch my mode into something else, right? For me, it's the equivalent of Maximus, Desmus, Meridius, and Gladiator picking up the dirt, smelling the dirt, it's go time. Right? So that was my mental switch. It was like an actor getting ready for a film. You gotta put yourself in that cage. When you're in that cage, you are that character. And then when you leave there, it's something completely different. But when I'm in that cage, bro, don't fucking touch me. Don't talk to me. Just <laughs> leave me alone. I, there used to be certain games, like, for like certain key games. Uh, I don't think I've ever said this before. This, is, this kind of makes me seem very psychotic, but whatever. I used to uh, play the Halloween theme song over and over and over in my headphones. Pre-game. Seriously. Seriously. What I really like about that clip uh, is how he, in the book Relentless, Tim Grover talks about, you know, the dark side. I think that's what he calls it. Um, how you kind of get into the zone. You're just, you're an alter ego, you know. And Kobe Bryant saying, man, I'd go from Kobe Bryant to, you know, the Mamba the mama mentality and he, he has a book about it, which uh, I'm very excited to get, just ordered it. Um, and I think it was pretty interesting how he used the Michael Myers theme song to get himself into the zone. You know, Michael Myers being a, a ruthless killer, you know, and, and that theme song being so um, iconic. And, you know, whenever you hear that, you, you kind of know, kind of like the Jaws theme song in a lot of ways, you know, oh shit, something's coming. Uh, same thing with the Michael Myers, and I thought that was really interesting how he had no shame in it. You know, he was like, man, I'm when I step on that court, I'm ready to rock and roll. Uh, and the main thing that I got from this uh, is obvious, but at the same time, it's not. And it's really, you know, whether you're an athlete or you're working, like I said, since I work for myself and I run a business, the room that I'm in, this specific room, I, I want it to act as if it's a, you know, the court, like in Kobe Bryant, you know, as soon as I step in the door and I close it, I'm kind of ready to go. And I've always wanted to do that. So I have like posters around. I've got a Wolf of Wall Street poster. I've got some uh, Greg Cardone posters. Uh, just to kind of, you know, remind myself, I have a, uh, a whiteboard right here. That's like a target whiteboard. It has my goal at the top and then it has, you know, where I'm at and then, uh, you know, drawing in the thermometer, uh, the thermostat of where I'm at. Uh, that really helps, uh, but I really like that he had a song that he would play over and over. Uh, and that's one of my next things is when I really heard this a couple of days ago, uh, I'm going to, or when I heard it again, uh, you know, figuring out a song, you know, uh, a trigger, it's like a habit. If you haven't read The Power of Habit by Charles Dewey, please do. That book has been an absolute game changer for me, The Power of Habit. Uh, please read it. It really gives you more insight of why that picking like a specific song or anything like that really uh, makes a big difference in productivity. I'll make a whole video about productivity, but a trigger uh, really is, you know, like a song or, uh, you know, an exercise or a smell, anything like that. There's been a, a multiple tests about it. That'll be a whole nother thing. Uh, but like I said, I really like what Kobe was kind of talking about. Uh, and he is, you know, one of the goats. And, and if you haven't read the book, like I said, Relentless, 
uh, that has been really big and really finding out his mindset uh, more in detail from Tim Grover. So it's not from his perspective or Michael Jordan. Tim, uh, Tim Grover trained uh, him, Jordan, Dwayne Wade, a ton of athletes. Uh, it's really cool to kind of hear his perspective about that. And it can it's supposed to be translated into all walks of life, business, sports, life in general. Uh, I personally use it for business. But guys, I appreciate you watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you got a lot of value. If there's any topic you guys want me to go over, please let me know. Thank you guys so much. See you.